Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on columns subjected to combined axial loading and biaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. A short RC column of M20 grade concrete FCK is given as 20. 600 mm into 400 mm in section. D is given as 600 and B is given as 400. E is reinforced with 8 bars of 28 mm diameter. So area of the steel ASC is equal to 8 into pi into 28 square upon 4 of FE 415. FI is given as 415. With an effective cover of 60 mm, D dash is given as 60 mm. Reinforcement distributed on four sides. Check the safety of the column if it is subjected to ultimate axial load of 2000 kN. PU is given as 2000 kN. We can convert that into Newton. Ultimate bending moment of MUX is 350 kN and an ultimate bending moment of MUY is 50 kN meter. Now let us find the gross area 600 into 400 we will get the gross area. Then let us find the area of the steel when we calculate this we will get this. Then we have to find the percent P AC upon AG into 100 we will get P which is 2.05 let us find P upon FCK. FCK is given in the question as 20. 2.05 upon 20. We will get 0 0.102. Now let us find the non-dimensional parameters in the major axis. For D dash upon D, we will get 0 0.1. Let us open the book SP16, chart number 44, which is in the page number 129. I have selected the chart number 44 because our FI is 415, D dash upon D is 0 0.1 and in the question it is given that the reinforcement is distributed equally on the four sides. So we have to select this chart. From the chart we can write these two terms. There is only one difference. Here it is mentioned as MU but we have to write as MUX1. When we calculate this, we will get 0 0.416. Using these two values, we can find MUX1 upon FCK BD square. PU upon FCK BD is 0 0.416. Approximately, we can draw this line. P upon FCK is 0 0.102. Here we have the curve 0 0.1. Since 0 0.102 is more than 0 0.1, we can extend the line little beyond 0 0.1 and then we have to make a vertical line. This point is approximately 0 0.122. We know the values of FCK, B and D. Let us apply them. Finally, we will get this. We can divide this by 10 power 6 so that we will get in kN meter. Then we can round this value to 351 kN meter. Now let us find the non-dimensional parameters in the minor axis. Here we have to interchange B and D. Previously D was 600 and B was 400. But here B should be 600 and D should be 400. For D dash upon D we will get 0.15. Let us open the chart number 45. I have selected this chart because FI is 415. D dash upon D is 0 0.15 and the reinforcement is equally distributed on the four sides. We know the values of P upon FCK and PU upon FCK BD. Using them we can find MUY1 upon FCK BD square. We can keep this point approximately 0 0.108. In this way for MUY1 we will get 207. Now we are going to check for safety under biaxial bending. 
we know that the gross area will be equal to area of the concrete plus area of the steel so area of the concrete will be ag minus asc we know the values of ag and asc let us apply them in this way we will get ac let us open is 456 code book page number 71 from the page we can write this equation in this equation let us apply all of the values in this way for puz we will get this value we can divide this value by thousand so that we will get in kilo newton and we can keep it approximately 3649 so for pu upon puz we will get 0.548 we know that for 0.2 alpha n can be taken as 1 and for 0.8 it can be taken as 2 but we need to find alpha n for 0.548 we can do interpolation 1 plus 2 minus 1 upon 0.8 minus 0.2 into 0.548 minus 0.2 when we calculate this we will get alpha n as 1.58 now let us write this equation in the equation let us apply all of the values so that we will get 1.1 which is more than 1 the section does not satisfy this condition so that the section is not safe under biaxial bending now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video